Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Let's talk about T-Mobile home internet gateways and now specifically a new rumor has come out with some data behind it about a new gateway that is about to be uh, shipped out. This is going to start, it looks like mid-August, August 15th is the rumor for when it will be added. Here are two of the current 5G gateways. This one is the Nokia one. A lot of people call it the gray trash can. Uh, this is it without its little uh, cooling fans, aftermarket fan that I've put on. I'll put a link to that at Etsy if you are interested in that. But um, this one has um, a long history of having some bugs and some issues there, reboots, that kind of stuff. All right, this one, uh, the Arcadian KVD21 came out, I think, about seven months ago. And they've both been available. This one I obviously took off the plastic cover around it. I've been doing a lot of uh, external antenna uh, in videos and comparisons, so that's why it doesn't have that cover on it. But um, this one is also a 5G one. It actually has a little bit more capability from a band uh, carrier aggregation standpoint, but it actually has less settings in the web interface, and um, it appears to oftentimes be a little bit slower than the Nokia one in the same spot. Uh, but T-Mobile will tell you that these two are equal and they'll also tell you that this third one is another equal one and it doesn't matter which one you get. It's semi-true, but um, one thing to know about this new one is that it actually does support a N77 band, which is a C band or kind of a uh, mid to high frequency 5G. So that's higher frequency than like N41, which is kind of the standard of 5G UC for um, T-Mobile. Uh, Verizon, uh, namely, had bought a lot of C-Band, and they're using that for their home internet, and actually have um, their gateway as well for that. So this new uh, gateway that T-Mobile is offering does support that, but the only caveat to that is that T-Mobile doesn't actually um, have any of that spectrum being utilized just yet. So... Uh, in theory, it has the same coverage capability as these other two. But let's go into some of the details and see just what else we have uh, about this new gateway. All right, so there were a couple places that tipped me off about this. Actually, I had one of my viewers tip me off uh, in one of the comments. I've seen it on the one of the Facebook groups. And then also more recently, I've seen it on the tmo.report website as well. But one of the places that you know it's legitimate is right on T-Mobile's website itself. So this is actually in the support uh, page for device firmware updates. And lo and behold, you can see here they have the old ASCII uh, LTE 4G only one. That's a white, uh, you know, kind of a rectangle. And then you can see the KVD21 gateway that's right here. And then you can see the Nokia uh, 5G21 gateway. And then most recently here, we have this uh, Sagemcom Fast 5688W gateway. And uh, there's no picture, um, at least uh, right here. But um, this shows you that, hey, they have it listed as a official device. Now, on top of that, they also have a get to know your gateway. So I was kind of surprised they put this stuff out there before they started shipping this stuff. But this has kind of the first instructions it also has a device user guide here you can see the back of it and you know it has both a um, you know very similar setup as especially the Arcadian one where you have a power button you have a power port you have two ethernets and then you have this one actually calls it out as, as a data port um, the other gateways they have don't actually support data they just support power through that but um, that is the High level of it, you know, it does have a SIM card, which is good. There are some of the newer gateways that are going to an eSIM, which is electronic SIM, and therefore it does not have a physical SIM card. In a lot of ways, I see a physical SIM card being better because uh, it allows you to take it out and move it if you needed to to another device. Um, so here, if we look into its um, actual user guide, we can click right here. And we can open up this user guide. And inside this, let me zoom in for you a little bit. We can see in here the actual interface for the web UE. And I was very interested to look at this to see 
just how many options this has uh, because all these T-Mobile gateways are pretty um, barren with their settings uh, which is very different from the Verizon home internet that I've also been testing is um, they have a lot of options in there okay so it tells you you know how to pick your things you got to plug it into the wall for it to work My surprise surprise um, and then on here let's keep going down to the web interface so if you have a Arcadian gateway or I've seen some of my other videos you will quickly recognize this home screen looks exactly like the Arcadian KVD one it looks like it's probably the same firmware that they loaded which in my opinion is very disappointing because this is a very limited uh, web interface you know it, it really doesn't give you a whole lot of information in there now I have a couple hacks that let you get a little bit more information for example this five bars um, you know rating scale here doesn't give you the band information and that's really very important for you to understand your 4G band and your 5G band and what those are so um, hopefully we can make that work as well with this new fast gate gateway okay so um, in here it basically just has the home and the support so doesn't even have the Wi-Fi setting on that might um, never uh, show back up in here and if that's the case you have to go to the T-Mobile home internet app and they have Wi-Fi options in there or as I've shown with the Arcadian one we have kind of a back door that we can use PowerShell to get in there and um, and find that one out as well so that's basically the gateway and that's all the really the user guide really uh, provides for you I mean it has like the reset button um, if you get a password that kind of stuff but um, it doesn't have really anything to talk about in here other than it has a display you can go through it and it has um, a screen that you can log into and it gives you uh, how many bars of signal you get but you also get that on the LCD screen so uh, there really is no point in going in there to the actual web user interface in my opinion on this guy now if we look at some of these specs this is where you will see uh, down here with what bands they support and basically I think the main one here is this N77 band which is um, makes this one a differentiator versus the other gateways is it supports that the other ones don't at least uh, list that as a supported band so that's a potential upside for this gateway okay and then if I go here I want to give uh, credit real fast to uh, tmo.report um, on their reporting they tend to be very good about reporting um, new stuff out there and so they looks like they have a inside um, you know note about this and to no one's surprise at least on my side is this T-Mobile Home Internet has been explosive with growth I mean they have had um, a lot of takers you know I know early this year it was over a million and that's going to keep growing they're gonna have millions of users of this thing and so the rumor is they basically don't have enough gateways to keep up with the demand and that's why they added the Arcadian one and now that's why they are again adding a third gateway just to keep up with demand and their goal ultimately is to have any of them be interchangeable but naturally you get some differences there in between them so you can see here they tell the um, the customer service folks to not um, sell it as an upgrade um, because it's supposed to be equal and um, that's all we have for right now but we know again here in a couple weeks these things will start shipping out I'm sure people will start getting them I'm interested to see uh, how they work and how they compare and I guess I might have to get my hands on one as well I'm currently paying for four ISPs so it's getting a little expensive but maybe I can do a, a swap a with them and um, and get this new uh, Sejumcom one uh, for some testing all right, as always, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, add a comment down below if you have any questions or if you've um, dealt with these before or if you want to uh, provide any suggestions for new videos, please put them in the comments. I do read those and uh, stay tight for the next video.